For some wild animals, the ability to be elusive is crucial. It allows some animals to avoid predators if they need to, and it allows some stealthy creatures to get within meters of their prey. If you're a relatively small animal and you live in an area with lots of cover, it's not necessarily hard to be elusive. The true masters of this ability are animals that are both large and elusive, and there are quite a few creatures that fit into this category. To find our first large elusive animal we will be heading to Central Africa, and more specifically the Democratic Republic of the Congo. If you're lucky enough and you find yourself in the canopy forests of the country, you may come across the Okapi. This species also goes by the name of Forest Giraffe or Zebra Giraffe, and it is a member of the giraffe family. They are the only surviving members of the giraffe family who aren't giraffes, and they are the lone species in their genus. Even though okapis are nowhere near the same size as their family members, they are still giants and can stand at around 1.5 meters at the shoulder, and they can weigh in at a whopping 350 kilograms. Despite this impressive size, they are still extremely elusive creatures, and every part of their body and their behavior is designed to keep them hidden. Even though okapis have been around for millions of years, they were only discovered relatively recently. Of course these animals were very well known to the local people, but for years Europeans in Africa couldn't find them. They were referred to by the Europeans as African unicorns, simply because they kept hearing about them but they couldn't find them. Eventually they were described by an English zoologist in 1901, and the first specimen acquired for science was found in a rainforest northeast of the country. Densely vegetated areas such as this rainforest are perfect for the okapi, and they can survive here their whole lives without being seen by humans. One of the first things you may notice about the okapi are its strange markings. These markings help to disguise the animal's body shape, and it also helps them to blend in in areas with dappled sunlight. This is one of the many reasons why they're very hard to spot in the wild, and even the way that they communicate is designed to keep them hidden. Okapis are solitary creatures, but of course they do come together to mate. As well as this, the mothers do look after their young, and they have a hard to detect language that they use to communicate with them. Researchers from the San Diego Zoo decided to record some okapis in captivity, and what they discovered was astonishing. Okapis emit low frequency sounds that are beyond the human range of hearing, and researchers believe that these sounds are used by the mother okapis to stay in contact with their calves while they're foraging. These low frequency sounds cannot be heard by their main predator, the leopard, and this means that they can communicate without the risk of being heard. Unfortunately, one of the reasons that they're so hard to find today is because they're endangered, as there are thought to be around 10,000 to 30,000 left in the wild. Their small population and their elusive nature means that sightings are almost unheard of, and one of the only ways to get footage of this animal in the wild is to use hidden camera traps. This just goes to show how elusive these giants can be, and hopefully there will be more of them in the future. For our next elusive animal we can stay in Africa, and we can even stay in the same country. That's because our next species is the giant forest hog, and this giant pig can be found in the same habitat as the okapi. The giant forest hog is the only member of its genus, and it's considered to be the largest wild member of the pig family. They can have a head and body length of 2.1 meters, and they can weigh in at 275 kilograms. This truly makes them giants of their own world, but these giants are quite hard to find in the wild. These hogs are mostly found in forested areas, and they can live in herds of up to 20 animals. These groups are known as sounders, and the males will protect these groups from predators. Despite being very hard to find, they are still more feared than other pigs in the area such as the red river hog and the bush pig, and this is because the males are known for being very unpredictable, and will often attack without warning. They are known to drive spotted hyenas away from carcasses, although they do fall victim to some predators such as lions and leopards. Even though the giant forest hog has been relatively common over the past few centuries, it was first formally discovered in 1904. There had been reports and rumours since the 17th century, and locals would tell stories about a huge black pig. Certain explorers started collecting accounts and reports of this hog, and one of these explorers was Henry Morton Stanley. 
Stanley was a Welsh-American explorer, journalist and soldier, and although he never mentioned it in print, Stanley told Harry Johnston, who was the British colonial administrator in Africa, that he had seen a giant black pig. Johnston thought it might have been a pygmy hippopotamus, but years later he also received reports of a large forest pig. A dead specimen was eventually obtained near Lake Victoria in May 1904, and this specimen was discovered by Richard Meinertzagen. Richard was a British soldier, intelligence officer and ornithologist, and he was shocked to find out that the animal that he had discovered was an entirely new genus. So even though the giant forest hog was far more common than the okapi, it was still discovered three years later, and this species may be the most elusive pig in the world. For our final elusive animal, we will be heading over to Southeast Asia, as we have the Malayan tapir. The Malayan tapir is the only tapir species outside of the Americas, and it's also the largest tapir species in the world. It can measure up to 2.5 meters long, and they can weigh in at 540 kilograms. This species is found in the tropical lowland rainforests of Southeast Asia, and it's very well adapted to this habitat. They are exclusively herbivorous, and they feed on more than 115 species of plants. Even though they are quite bulky, they can run quickly if they need to, and they have strong jaws and sharp teeth to defend themselves with. These large animals prefer to be near water, and they can use their flexible proboscis as a snorkel. As the Malayan tapir is so large it has few natural predators, although they are sometimes taken by tigers, leopards and dolls. Because of this, the Malayan tapir has to stay hidden, and from birth they are designed to do this. Young Malayan tapirs have beautiful markings, and these markings help them to blend in in heavily vegetated environments. As they get older, they lose this coloration, but the adults' markings also help them to blend in. Just like the okapis, they communicate with very hard to hear sounds, but instead of being very low frequency sounds, they are very high frequency sounds. Unfortunately, just like the okapis, they are also endangered, with only a few thousand left in the wild. Even though the tapir's elusive abilities help to keep it safe from some predators, it fails to keep them safe from humans. One of the biggest threats to the Malayan tapir is habitat loss, and each year they lose more habitat to palm oil plantations. If you want to help the Malayan tapir out, I've left a few charities down below, as they could really do with your help. So even though these creatures are relatively rare today, they've always been elusive. And this is extremely impressive as they are one of the larger creatures in Southeast Asia. If you think there are any other large creatures that could have made it in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.